in this webinar, I'll discuss and I'll show you how we pick stocks uh, in a live market for intraday. So uh, that is the most important webinar, I think, uh, because uh, intraday trading is a uh, most risk uh, uh, including, right? There. And you 90%, more than 90% uh, intraday trader uh, failure. Why? I, I'll show you exactly. Because uh, in intraday trading, uh, psychological factor are affecting highly. That is why people are losing in this market. And I will show you how to defeat the psychological psychology factor. Your trade. All right. Uh, let's uh, let's get started one by one. And uh, let me zoom a little more here. Okay. <clears throat> All right. Now, first question is that in a stock market, there are thousand and thousand stocks are there. It is a very difficult to find out in which stock today or tomorrow we are going to trade. That is the most the biggest problem for everyone. All right. So most uh, various type of method scanner or xyz high volatility high volume everything they are doing like that after that they are finding uh, stocks uh, for intraday but my trading strategy is totally different it is not related any other i fully prefer on technical all right so i just how i scanning the stocks right basically i trade on nifty 50 only because everybody knows Nifty 50 is the best stocks, right? Uh, uh, that best stocks company are in Nifty 50. So I would like to trade on that stocks only. All right. But question is that there is a 50 stocks are there. But how, how can I focus every 50 stocks frequently, right? Uh, so for intraday trading, we need a single confirmation to enter or exit for one minute or five minutes. But if you go like 50 stock one, one by one, one by one, it's uh, very difficult to find out. Sometimes you will get the opportunity to enter in any stocks after that observe one by one. So it is a probability to miss that opportunity for intraday. For position or swing trading, you will get the opportunity, right? We are using one hour candle or a 15 minute, 100, uh, like a H4 uh, or daily chart we are using. So we'll get, we have time. But intraday, we don't have uh, time that, that much. So that is why in Nifty 50, I filtered stocks whose stocks price is 100 to below 1000 right so i would like to trade in these stocks whose price is more than 100 all right less than 1000 so when i uh, filter that thing you can see there are only 26 stocks are there here you can see uh, from this area to this area there are 26 stocks are only. So in that day, I'm just focusing on these uh, 26 stocks only. If I'm getting any buy opportunity, then definitely I'll enter for the intraday. So before I trade, suppose I'm going to trade today. Uh, like last night, I just find out that stock where I'm going to trade today. All right. So I'll show you how I find out the stock for intraday. And I'll show you if I'm getting any buy opportunity and I'll buy here and I'll show you how I position sizing, how I sizing my position, why I am entering here and why I'm placing my stop loss and where I'm going to take profit. All right, so first question, uh, I just filter 
my stocks from nifty 50 to 26 stocks only whose range is more than 100 and less than 1000 is it very clear right so this is my trading strategy now i just going to focus on all right let me check it the uh, question is there okay now uh, first we have seen this is in p my trading rule is i'm just focusing on two time frame one is 15 minute time frame this is 15 minute and another five minute means five minute time frame and one fifth uh, one five 15 minute time frame i'm focusing if both time frame are showing uptrend i'm looking for trade uh, i'm looking for buy only that stocks right five time frame they are showing buy and uh, sorry uh, uptrend and 15 time frame uh, minute time frame they are showing uptrend both time frame should be uptrend either downtrend right so i'm looking for that stock among that 26 stocks all right let me show you now you can see this is uh, in p first i took in p and 15 minute chart there is no clear trend then i will skip that in p i don't want to trade in in p next let me check it now you can see this is a birdie airtel now worthy airtel are uh, running in a uptrend in 15 minutes have you seen it all moving average are arranging sequentially have you seen all are arranging sequentially uh, this is 200 s ema and this is 20 ema all are arranging sequentially have you seen it means in 15 minute worthy airtel is running in a uptrend now let's check it in a five minute is it there running in a uptrend in a five minute clearly they are running in a uptrend now this stock i'm going to trade so i'll show you when to enter in this market don't jump blindly and enter in this market in an intraday i'll show you exactly how we are confirming it will uh, uh, how it will confirming that you uh, we must buy right now so i'll show you one by one first uh here you can see i just took this one but the airtel so it is clear right next uh, let me check it uh hcl hcl is running in a uptrend in a five minute and the bouncing from moving averages have you seen it and uh, let me check it 15 minutes in 15 minutes also they are running in a uptrend have you seen it clearly so we can go for buy or if you have any confused because here you have seen there is a crossover have you seen it crossover all moving average are arranging clearly have you seen it in 15 minutes and now you can see in five minutes they are running in a uptrend all right so you can you can take this stocks only hcl so i use it next mahinda and mahinda Mahinda and Mahinda is just running in a downtrend right now. You can see in uh, 15 mi uh, five minute chart and 15 minutes still running in a uptrend. So we are not looking for this type of stocks. Both time frames should be uptrend or should be downtrend. But here, Mahinda and Mahinda is in 15 minute running in a uptrend because all moving average 20, uh, 200 moving average below and above you can see 20 moving average. Have you seen it? and but if you want to see in five minute chart 20 is running in a down uh, below this 200 so i am not looking for this type of stocks so i'll skip this stock next icici bank five minute running in a uptrend clearly and 15 minute running in a uptrend clearly so i'll take icici so next you can go for icici all right okay next you can see tech mahinda tech mahinda is running in the uptrend 15 minutes and the five minutes they're running in the uptrend so you can go for tech mahindra so here you can see so i'll explain why i'll buy here uh, this is my trading uh, play one by one let me find out the stocks 
So this is EPL running in the up trend in five minutes and then 15 minutes just place up they are all are arranging sequentially all right so we can go for upl so right now let me remove this area here next you can go for our next box we have seen this is a grasim they are running in an uptrend and a five minute just broke this area so we are not looking for this type of stocks and this is called bank you can see running in an uptrend now price are just price uh, giving a retracement and 15 minute let's check it running in an uptrend five minute running in an upl uh, tech mahinda now you can go for axis bank have you seen it now third you can see sun pharma running in an uptrend here you can see downtrend and uptrend so I'm not looking for uh, I'm not looking for entering this market now you can see here running in a downtrend here you can see there is a running in a downtrend right this is a simpler okay so here you can see uh, when I want to use simpler here 15 minutes running in a downtrend five minutes running in a downtrend I'm looking for short and the next you can see it, the last one is Tata Moto. Here you can see running in an uptrend, running in an uptrend. We are looking for buy, and this is Tata still, Tata still. So here you can see, I don't want to make uh, too large. Now we have seen there are how many stock? Nine stock are there. Now we, we have seen these nine stock trying to uh, go uh, like uh, uh, they are trying to uh, run in the upside or just a minute let me check it 15 minutes yeah okay so we have seen this is a nine stock so here are more stock are there because i'm just focusing only nine to ten stock only pointer day if i have that is enough otherwise i can uh, i'll check stock because i have seen there are almost nine to ten stock we have seen they are running clearly up and upside or downside in a both time frame. so that is why we're looking for entering this market now you can see this is party airtel okay now what we have seen now let me explain the basic rules uh, to enter in this market all right okay Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Just a minute. Just a minute. Okay. Do you have any query? So next, I'll show you when to enter in this market. Do you have any query? You just ask me. So now I'm going to place buy and sell order, uh, and I'll explain when to buy. So. I think you clear right how I'm picking the stocks for intraday. Right, we have seen there are 10, 9 to 10 stock there running clearly uptrend or downtrend. All right. So now we are ready this market. And the rule is that now before you can see here, now we have seen time frame, Bharti Airtel is running in the upside. All right, both time frame. Have you seen it clearly? Now in that case. We must focus on large time frame H4 and daily one. Is it there any support and resistance are there? If there is a support and resistance, we will avoid. Is it clear? We will avoid. Now you can see here, we have seen that was a higher point. It is a probability to retrace again toward this area in a daily. And H4 also we have seen like that. And uh, now, Let's just jump to 15 minutes and five minutes. You can see now exactly. You can see here. See, this is a supporting line. Have you seen it? This is a supporting line. So exactly, we are looking for if price retrace toward this area. So we are looking for first buy. We must find out buy opportunity. Have you seen it? This is a first buy opportunity we are looking for. In this area, we are looking for confirmation by using indicator. All right. 
now most of the people are thinking hey from this area to this area it's just too big all right so how can i miss that opportunity all right we are looking for buy remember we are looking for buy if i am not getting any opportunity we'll leave it the market this script bart airtel we'll find another script have you make sense all right now first opportunity we have seen there is a resistance line or oh, sorry supporting line we are looking for buy signal in this area so i'll explain where is the buy signal now next the buy signal if price not able to retrace toward this level in a small time frame we we are looking for a breakout what is the breakout so now you can see we're gonna trade breakout trading strategy have you seen it now we'll leave this skip once they break this will place buy otherwise we are not going to enter in this market remember we are going to uh, size our position one trade means you gonna earn two percent entire your capital remember don't do buy and sell oftenly if you are doing buy and sell oftenly that means you are generating only book or more remember change your mindset I'm telling you, if you wanna be a profitable trader, you change your mindset. Try to uh, try to understand what I'm going to tell you. All right, among the ten uh, ten skip, we have seen there is a ten skip, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Among the ten uh, ten skip, if we see we find any five opportunity to enter in this market if it goes three positive all right and the two negative that means three positive and two negative that means here we will earn uh, three into two six percent entire your capital in a day and here uh Trading ratio is one is to one, and here we are going to lost uh, one person, one person, two person lost. So here in a day, four per return in your capital in intraday. Intraday is a highly profitable trading uh, method uh, and highly risk remembered. So that is why we need the most important and high probability trade. We need that is why we're looking for high probability trade remember four percent is enough bank are giving four percent to six percent when you uh, keep your money in your bank but stock, uh, by trading stock you're gonna earn in a day remember i'm not 100 percent sure that every day you will earn but if you can do that so you can earn all right now we have seen here uh, let me explain the basic rules of this market or when we gonna enter we have seen we need a two buy confirmation let me let me explain uh, one indicator we are using stochastic everybody i think know because most of the people doesn't know how to uh, use stochastic exactly most of the people are entering anywhere by here they have seen sell just uh, sold here all right here buy some buying here market market is going against like that so don't do that exactly i'll show you when to use this stock uh, stochastic to exactly enter in this market first we have seen this is a stochastic we are using the period is simply which is manually come <coughs> comes 533 very easy next we are using this is called parabolic sir so i just changed the period of parabolic sir you can see uh, i changed this uh, parabolic sir uh, step is 0 0.09 so remember uh, my point is 0 0.09 manual age come to uh, manual age come 0 0.0 
two, but I modify this one to zero point nine zero nine, right? This is the point, and the maximum is point zero two. I'm not changing anything. I just change the step to uh, two to five only. That's it. All right. And I think everybody knows I'm using another rest of the thing are uh, moving averages. All right. These are all are moving averages I'm using. This is 20 moving average, and this is uh, 50 moving average. This is uh, 100 moving average, and this is 150 moving average, and this is 200 moving average. All are this one exponential, except this dot 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 line. This dot dot line is 200 SMA. This is only 200 SMA. Rest of the all are EMA. All right. Now we can see this is uh, for the Airtel we have seen they are running in a downtrend, creating lower low, lower high, lower low, lower high. Still they are running in a downtrend uh, for the small time frame. All right, but finally they are running in a uptrend. But I'm looking for buy. I'm not interested to take uh, to take any sell position in this area. I'm looking for buy when price will break this trend line. How many confirmation I'm using? Just to remember how many confirmation. Confirmation number one, stochastic. Stock, stochastic should, should be confirmed for the buy first. Next, parabolic chart should be appear below the candle. Number two, confirmation. Third confirmation, price should be break this trend line chart confirmation all right fourth confirmation which uh, one are appearing like uh, suppose here this candle first parabolic chart we have uh, seen there they are appearing we will place buy order above this candle got it above that candle so that is our buy opportunity and that that means four criteria we are using to place buy order if i'm getting four criteria uh, for confirmation then i'll buy otherwise i'll leave it all right because in a single trade i gonna earn two percent not a easy things remember two percent entire your capital all right two percent and if I ghost against, I lost 1% entire capital. And I'm going to earn 2% in a single trade. So let me check it. Audio, audio, audio. All right. Okay. Are you able to hear me? Is this, are you able to hear me? Uh, because. Your network connection has been okay. All right, all right, all right, all right.
All right, now uh, I think uh, audio is okay, right? Okay, sir, no audio now. You can, you can, you can. Say, yeah, <laughs> some audio problem was there. Okay, nice, 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 nice. Okay, some audio problem was there. Okay, audio. For a confirm. Uh, break out right we need a four confirm then we will buy so uh this one you can see already air let's check it uh eight. now this is hcl you can see let me show you is it there any support or resistance are there okay no support and resistance now 15 minutes you can see they're running in an uptrend and the five minute they're running now. You can see we have seen there is a strong resistance line out there. Oh, sorry, supporting line out there. So now let me draw a supporting line. There you can see this is our strong support. All right. So that means we are looking for buy above these stocks because why this is strong support. We have seen multiple rejection from this area, rejection, reject their support. So here we have seen just a little more there, 200 exponential moving average are there, support. Check it in five minutes. We are looking for a buy confirmation above this supporting line. We need a buy confirmation. Now you can see somewhere why stochastic are uh, uh, there uh, like uh, sometime uh, Fail, right? So now you can see here in this area, stochastic given buy signal. Exactly at that time we have seen pattern up for me. So and now you can see they are creating higher high, higher low, higher high and higher low. If you use here Fibonacci, moving average, whatever, it's a giving a hundred percent accurate buy signal. All right, according to this indicator, stochastic, but Parabolic shark are telling us this dot dot line. Have you seen it? Parabolic shark are telling us they are still running in a downtrend. So by using this parabolic shark, uh, they we avoid buy uh, to enter in this market, right? Every criteria are showing. If you are not using parabolic shark, so forget about the parabolic shark. All right. So now you can see they are according the price price action method. Let me tell you one thing. First. According to the moving average, they are running in an uptrend. According to the price action method, they are creating new higher high, creating higher low. And if you want to use Fibonacci, like this is a A point, all right? This is a B point, and this is a 50% retracement, I think. Let me check it. Is it the 50% retracement? Exactly, we have seen this is a 50% retracement. Have you seen it? This is a 50% retracement. Exactly, we have seen there is a buy opportunity. Have you seen it? All right, now you can see. And at that time, we have seen stochastic are giving a buy signal. Have you seen it? This is a buy signal. But remember, parabolic shark are still forming upside. They are telling us they are ready to go to our downside. This is not a buy signal this is called false signal have you make sense all right so that is why i'm using parabolic chart once parabolic chart appear below and candle should be above here like that and at that time stochastic should give us buy signal and that is a buy opportunity remember that is a buy opportunity in hcl so if you want to see PBS market behavior, we have seen uh, they are forming here, bouncing from bouncing. That was a buy signal, right? That is a buy signal. All right, that is a buy signal. And if you bought, you can see price gone up. All right, remember, and I, I'll tell you one another things. And let me zoom a little more. You comes to know properly. All right, next. ICICI Bank. 
let me check it in the daily chart is it there raise 10 yeah we have seen there is a raise 10 line have you seen it price rejecting from this area rejecting from this area rejecting rejecting and it is a probability to reject again all right so this is a resistance line and then show you in h4 have you seen it this is a strong resistance and also forming there is candlestick pattern also forming here and uh, let's just jump to 15 minute chart now you can see in 15 minute chart exactly they hit the resistance line and again price push up so in that case i i see i see a bank because price near this resistance line or i'll wait to break this resistance line once they break this resistance line i'll buy after that all right i need a buy confirmation after breaking this resistance not now <laughs> that things you must know so we have seen already uh, uh, stocks we have seen buy in these two stocks once uh, once they appear this type of uh, uh, like according to our uh, entry rules if they form this type of pattern so definitely we will enter but i see i see a bank just is in line so i'm not interested to take buy hcl tech all right now hcl tech okay we have two hcl tech okay remember uh, leave it one it's real. Oh, yeah, this is tech mahinda now let's check it tech mahinda daily chart prices running in an uptrend they broke the raise 10 line somewhere here was the raised uh, raise 10 line and now it's becoming a support leave it now h4 they're running in an uptrend uh 15 minutes they're running in the down uh, sorry uptrend and now we are looking by in a five minute chart now in five minute chart you can see somewhere here uh here you can see this is a uh, opportunity was there somewhere here and book your profit and next you can see price given a buy signal in this area but failed to break this area why i didn't bought here so let me zoom and if i clearly okay is it visualizing properly i think and now you can see this dot like parabolic chart are forming below this candle have you seen this is the candle all right and exactly they are giving a buy signal all right in that case we place buy order above this candle later you can see they didn't trigger this area now price is running in a downside according to this parable but according to mobbing average they are running in an uptrend but confirmation this parabolic shark identify the trend uptrend or downtrend in a small uh, basis right so now you can see they are forming in an upside upside now i'm looking for a uh, i'm looking for a candle where parabolic shark should be appear below so after that i'll place buy order a little more above all right that is the trading rules otherwise i leave this all right i'll wait or another key you can use here a trend line and wait to break this trend line right wait to break this trend line at that time some parabolic shark uh, will appear like that below and candle will be like that candle will be like that like that so at that time stochastic will cross over somewhere here like that that is a buy opportunity remember so i'm looking for buy after that all right next you can see upl now upl you can see we have seen uh price are running in an uptrend all time frame like h1 running in an up downtrend downtrend and somewhere here they are running in a downtrend and we have seen some uh, support and raise then where is the support and raise then support and raise then somewhere here we can use this one because this is most 
reliable all right so this is a resistance line and h4 exactly 200 up. expecting uh, it will go up and now you can see in 15 minutes they are running in an uptrend and then now you can see uh, one thing here i want to use first next support all right now you can see in a five minute now you can see i'm waiting here another higher point you can see here so i'm looking for buy exactly in this area and exactly in this area if remember if uh, parabolic chart appear in this area so i'll buy if parabolic chart are not forming uh, below if price drop down and again i'm looking for buy in this area so that means in upl uh, i'm looking for buy in a two region one is here and another here all right i'm looking for buy only i'm not talking about sell all right now i can see uh, we have seen some candlestick pattern this is called tweezer pattern all right uh, and stochastic crossover most of the people are entering suddenly here but see parabolic are still they are forming above this candle looking for we have seen one confirmation it's telling us to buy according to the uh, moving average it's telling us to buy and according to support and raise then you can say telling us to buy and then now last confirmation we are waiting if parabolic are appear below this candle so we'll place buy order don't uh, place buy order suddenly you place buy order at least uh, 50 pesa 60 pesa above this candle all right place buy order all right let me tell you one thing let me show you previous market behavior here uh, have you seen it uh, this is uh, like uh, call uh, swim upl have you seen it price are here we have seen buy opportunity given by here but parabolic shark are appearing in this area we place buy order they didn't figure buy have you seen it again parabolic shark are forming and again forming here but didn't place here buy order and if you place and stop loss are there price gone up continuously or you can see this candle are confirming exactly buy have you seen it how many confirmation we have seen let me explain one by one here so anna connect most touches point have you seen it touches point and finally they broke this trend line and they are confirming us to buy and now we can see this parabolic are forming in this candle when this candle appear we place buy order in this area somewhere above a little more and they trigger our buy order and you can see price gone up that is called high profitable trade high probability and profitable trade. remember one trade means you gonna earn two percent entire your capital one trade remember that is why intraday trading is most profitable and highly risk in this that is why we need a most uh, more confirmation all right blindly don't enter in this market remember i'm telling you again and again all right is it clear now now you can see who people are buying here by using stochastic now you can see price drop down right who people are using this uh, like here you can see uh, bullish uh, candlestick and after that bullish pin bar also forming stochastic also giving uh, above this supporting line who people bought here have you seen it price is dropping down trailing down all right we need a proper confirmation Still, we are not getting buy opportunity in this area. Wait, always for the confirmation. If you are not getting any confirmation, leave it market. Who gonna tell you to lose your money, right? All right. Okay. Nice. I remember that is the two here. I can see. All right. Now price just running a little more above this supporting line. Axis Bank fast. Always find out support and resistance is it there any support and resistance no we have seen some support and resistance are there all right we are expecting price will go up all right in h4 
there is no support and resistance. Now you can see here they broke this uh, resistance line like that here. So we are looking for buy, but we need a support and resistance now. 15 minutes they're running in an uptrend, and now we are looking for buy in a 15 minute, a five minute, right? Five minute time frame, buy, buy time frame. Now we can see this is the most important point right now. Let me zoom a little more here. Now, Anna Connect, the most recent swing high point. Have you seen it? And now let me zoom a little more than it comes to know. All right, price is running in an uptrend. And now exactly now this is called buy opportunity. Have you seen it? Have you seen it? Yeah, this is called buy opportunity. We connect here, higher point, and they broke this resistance line. And stochastic are telling us it is a time to buy. And the next you can see parabolic uh, circle forming below, and we are looking for a breakout. If price break this area, we'll buy here. All right, now. <coughs> Now jump to here exactly. This is uh, my demo account, and here you can see this account we use for like seminar. And my student when they are doing live trading, that means in a live trade. My student, I'm teaching there in my uh, live. Uh, this is the trading demo account, not this is the uh, like live live account. All right, this is a live account and. We uh, we put a little more amount of money here right now. So here I'll show you exactly when to buy and when to sell. Now you can see exactly the broke here. And at that time, you can see where is the lower point? Lower point is somewhere here. It's just showing three rupees below. And our target will be six rupees somewhere here. We are maintaining one is two, one is two trading ratio so let me show you so uh, suppose where is the axis bank yeah let me show you here this is account uh, suppose it's just showing 2000 all right account doesn't matter you just uh, think about percentage so now what i'm going to do here 2000 one percent risk means two uh, how many rupees axis bank is there how many rupees? 20 rupees. That means it plays uh, how many? 20s. Let me use here bracket order. And then now we are going to you uh, place four rupees below SL. That means eight rupees is target. Now, if you place four rupees SL, then 20% one rupees will be how much? All right. Let me tell you like uh, five stocks. All right. It will be two rupees and two percent. All right, two percent. Now you can check it. We place buy order like that. All right, now you can see we place buy order somewhere here. Buy order execute or not? I don't know exactly. Yeah, the executor. Uh, now you can see here I place buy order here somewhere here. Why? Why I bought? Have you seen it? All right. This is a uh, parabolic arc this line and stochastic are giving us buy signal and we place our SL just below this lower point and target is placing one is to two. One is to two means, uh, let, me, let me show you here. Uh, this is called uh, one R, all right. And our target will be here, uh, this area called two R. That means, whatever we have amount in our account that means we're gonna take only one r if price goes against me that means we will lost one r that means one percent all right so market if goes in favor of us we are gonna earn two r this is called position sizing remember position sizing most important and don't think guys this is not my uh, trading account exactly all right so this is uh, this account we use uh, in seminar, like webinar in our class. All right, my account is different. And I just, uh, I'm not able to show you because of some security reasons. 
and I don't think so that account you will understand properly because there is the option order are uh, their position order are uh, their long term and uh, Forex uh, not a Forex are EF uh, ETF are there and you can say a covered call sometimes we are using covered call trading straight iron condor trading strategy we are placing so when I'll uh, create a webinar regarding um, option trading so at that time i'll show my original account where i'm trading exactly where i'm placing so one by one uh, i'm just explaining all right is it clear do you have any doubt you can ask me all right you have uh, do you have any doubt you can ask me okay nice Now we have seen there is a buy opportunity in Axis Bank. Now let's just jump to EPL. Okay, EPL, you can see we already seen there is a buy opportunity. Have you seen it? Now exactly you can see EPL, uh, five minutes we have seen the uh, just, my God, three weeks, four weeks, it's gone up. But we missed that opportunity in EPL. Have you seen it? We missed that opportunity when I was explaining, then we missed that opportunity, but we don't try to jump a, a ride in a running bus. We don't try to catch the running bus. Now, most of the people are doing big mistake in that case. Now, that was our buy opportunity. Here you can see we have seen parabolics are forming and there was a crossover and price retrace and jump so that was a buy opportunity we missed it but don't jump right now most of the people are entering right now that they, they can control their psychology and entering here all right that is a big mistake don't do that another buy opportunity we have seen we missed that opportunity in upl why because in 15 minutes they're running in an uptrend and h1 and there were uh, there are no resistance and support right now we have seen prices pushing up and uh, the support are somewhere we have seen here uh, sorry resistance and the price uh, targeting toward this level and we miss that opportunity all right nice uh, we have seen that was a big opportunity was here leave it don't be panic don't try to uh, let come for more fear of missing out so that was our buy opportunity somewhere above, little more above, uh, because we have seen their parabolic circle are appearing in this area, crossover clearly they are telling us. And here we have seen tweezer pattern, and this is called engulfing pattern, and that was a buy opportunity. All right, is it clear? All right, that, uh, that is a uh, buy opportunity. We miss it, don't worry. Next, uh, jump to Sipla. Sipla is running in a downtrend. Now we are looking for short here. Let me check it. Is it there any support or raise ten line? Are there? Yeah, we have seen are there. So I don't. Oh, it is a buy opportunity. Oh, sorry, sell opportunity. Because Sipla in a daily chart, we have seen multiple rejection from this area. Multiple rejection from this area all right now h1 chart you can see multiple rejection now 15 minute you can see price just a little more above this supporting line and the five minute you can see price is just near this supporting line so i'm not interested to take sell position in cipla because price is running in a above this supporting line so i leave that stocks all right uh, two stocks we are avoiding one is icici bank next is cipla all right icici and cipla let now let's check it tata motor daily tata motor is running in an uptrend and we have seen there is a resistance are there all right above and now h1 h4 some pin bar are appearing doesn't matter all right H4, we have seen uh, here. You can see price are running in an uptrend and somewhere resistant are uh, here. All right, in H4, and now 15 minutes you can see here. 
and they are running in an uptrend and five minute they are running in an uptrend but uh, now you can see for intraday that is that is uh, enough right how many point are there from 10 point are there 10 to 11 point above the resistance line are there and in that case we are looking we are looking for a breakout here you can see this is a resistance line and at that time breakout now every criteria are fulfilling here stochastic already given a buy signal but you can see here uh, we have seen there is a resistance line we are looking for a breakout all right so so once the breakout so we will buy now we have seen there is a among that uh, how many stocks among that uh, 10 stock we have seen seven stocks already uh, we have seen they are perfectly they are showing us buy and sell so first body you can see we are waiting to break out all right hcl we are looking for a breakout right so hcl yeah 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 hcl i told you that hcl they have given buy signal here buy signal some buy signal they are giving but uh what collision parabolic shark are forming above they are still not giving any buy signal the people are doing the big mistake now we have seen exactly the <coughs> sorry retrace toward moving average now we are ready to buy now you can see stochastic already given a buy signal at that time we are looking for a breakout where is the breakout so now you can see here i drawn a trend line by connecting this area so similarly we are looking for a what call this is called parabolic shark we are parabolic shark and at that time we are looking for a breakout candle and that is called buy order all right that is a buy opportunity and we will place our sl here and this is called one r i always use and target always maintain at least two r all right two r that means this is a one percent entire your capital and this is called two percent entire your capital if price goes again hit your sl that means you're gonna lose one percent as hit your target that means you're gonna earn two percent entire your capital how big is your account doesn't matter if you have five thousand one r think about r or percentage if you have one lakh think about r percentage how many percent do you want to earn if you have 10 lakhs you just think about our percentage don't think thousand uh, i have a one lakh and i want to earn 5000 10000 in a day don't think like that think like uh, how many percent you want to earn suppose every day if you want to earn one percent there is a in a year 200 trading days in a year that means you're going to earn 200 percent 200 percent profit in a year that is a big profit even Warren Buffett not earning 200 percent right that is why I don't expect that much all right is it clear okay <coughs> okay okay crude oil yeah i'll tell you uh, um, stochastic is uh, like uh, same period 533 533 this is uh, 533 533 which, which is manually comes all right that is the that that is only all right that is only i'm not modifying stochastic all right that is a buy opportunity now cipla there is a no buy opportunity i think okay uh, the CIPLA and uh, uh, I see, I see, I, I never seen any buy opportunity. Now, Bardi Airtel, we are looking for buy, and HCL, HCL already two stock are there. And HCL, we are looking for buy, Tech Mohinda, uh, we are looking for buy, but the Tech Mohinda is a little more far from that area. And UPL, have you seen it? Exactly, you can see here. So there was a buy opportunity if we place two rupees, two rupees, three rupees, four already, three rupees gone. Now we are targeting to four. All right. And Axis Bank, Axis Bank, there you can see we place 
uh, somewhere I missed that opportunity. We need to buy here and three rupees and three rupees already gone. Three rupees. Have you seen it? If you place already booked your profit, and then now you can see uh, UPL two UPL. Yeah, sorry, sorry. There is a two UPL chart UPL, and the Tata is still now. Already we have seen uh, Bharti Airtel uh, among ten. Not a ten. I think eight stock are there because I placed two stock. Uh, two stock stock are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right. Six stocks among the six stocks already there. Two by occurred are here already placed. One is uh, Axis Bank and next was somewhere Sipla. I think not a Sipla. Tech Mohinda. Tech Mohinda. Just a minute. That, uh, EPL, yeah, EPL, two stocks already we have seen. And now you can see among the six stocks, let me, uh, let me zoom here, right? Among the six, six stocks, suppose you bought uh, like six stocks, all right, six stocks. Uh, suppose trading ratio is uh, like winning ratio is 50-50, uh, right? Winning ratio is 50-50. 50-50, all right, let me explain. So that means three are profitable stocks, a profitable trade, and three are losing stocks. All right. In a profitable stocks, we are earning how many percent? Two percent, right? And losing stocks, we, how many uh, we are losing? One percent. Now we can see six percent, and here you can see three percent. All right. If you deduct from there and from here. Uh, six minus, and there will be three percent, right? Three percent. All right. That means your winning ratio will be. Uh, that means profit will be three percent entire your uh, what call portfolio. That means if you have one lakh money, then you will earn three thousand. That is enough in a single day. Remember, that is why. In internet trading, we need a high probability trade. Now we have seen there are high uh, three. Uh, we have seen six script are there who have going to give us high probability. One is Bharti Airtel. Where is the Bharti Airtel? If they break this area, we'll buy. This is a high probability entry point. All right. And then next, you can see HCL. HCL, we are looking for breakout once they break this level just a minute all right once they break this level we are expecting price will somewhere suppose here once they break this area so it will be one hour and target will be somewhere two hour two hour all right two hour somewhere here will be somewhere here like that all right two hour and then next you can see tech Minda, we are looking for buy above this area not now confirming buy upl already are uh, there already we think we already gone up there up to this area that is where i told them when market was jumping toward this area don't buy don't buy in this area because don't try to catch the running bugs right so when price is pushing up people are entering and placing somewhere else as well you can see Automatically they will hit your SL. So after that again price will push up like that So that is a big mistake If you miss that opportunity leave with the market This is the market you will get the many opportunity in this market in Axis Bank. I think already we have shipped for rupees Yeah, so you can see this is the profitable. So I Somewhere I place I think already we one is to two already done. I think where is the our entry point? Let me check it yeah, somewhere here, here, here. All right, here. That is a breakout somewhere here, a little more above. 3.6, uh, 3.6. Yeah, I think already hit our target. All right, whatever. I think you people are able to understand, right? How to enter exactly in this market. Now, this is Tata Motor. Just they're trying to break this area. I'm looking for a breakout and I'll enter here for the buy because everybody have given a buy signal, right? So last signal we are looking for breakout. 
keep your presence all right that is a buy opportunity so i think already one hour gone so do you have any query you can ask me clearly this is the internet trading this is the internet trading very important thing very important thing crude oil analysis please okay okay just a minute let me use the crude oil because most of the time i'm using crude oil like that when i trade in crude oil like that and let me put oil against nice 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 all right now let's check it crude oil 15 minute they in that case i don't trade in crude oil for intraday have we seen it there is no clear movement are there all right in five minutes they are running an uptrend and 15 minutes they are running like that don't take any position right now but one thing remember here we have seen there is a raised stand line have you seen it this is a raised stand line have you seen it raise 10 line now let's just jump to five minute chart looking for a breakout so most of the people are doing big mistake they bought somewhere here price will hit then by reversing like that all right so i need a clear uptrend or downtrend in that enter in this market so yesterday we have seen somewhere here sell opportunity here somewhere sell opportunity we have seen all right uh, in that area we have seen they are placing downtrend and they are giving a sell opportunity and price drop down and again you can see where is the sell opportunity here you can see sell opportunity in this area but fail because if you want to see here in a 15 minute there is no trend all right there is no trend for the intraday so but if you want to see like uh, here there is a clear trend was there in this area all right let me zoom a little more 15 minutes all right now you can see let me draw from here from this area up to five minute chart now you can see uh, in 15 minutes they are running in a downturn all right i draw this line and now you can see according the uh, i can see now here you can see dot are forming above place sell order right again dot are forming above sell order and here we have seen crossover everything are sell sell order and again here dot are forming here sell order right here dot are forming above but they are not able to break and here this candle they are not able to break all right they have given a sell opportunity right so this is a crude oil so if you have any query how to identify trend very simple trend is very simple no need to uh, like uh, use that uh, like a what call sorry i changed that uh, skip i think somewhere skip was there okay <laughs> what was here tata motors i think tata motors something are there all right mm -hmm. how to identify the trend trend uh, how to identify any script uh, let me take it any script from here manually i just took and this is tata what called tata global i don't know exactly now you just go to two time frame like uh, one is 15 minute and one is uh, five minute so in that case both uh, in both time frame uh, moving average should be clearly arranging ascending order or descending order and i can see this is a 200 this is 150 sorry 150 this is uh, 100 50 and this is 20. so you can see all are arranging sequentially means in a five minute they are running in an uptrend very clear now let's just jump to 15 minute now 15 minute is it their ascending same method uh, they are uh, sequentially like uh, five minute yeah definitely we have seen there is a 220 all are arranging sequentially means they are running in an uptrend so in that case we are looking for buy only have you seen it 
Now, uh, here we have seen there is a candle uh, forming. We place buy order a little more here. You can see that was a buy opportunity. And uh, for the buy, have you seen it? So next you can see uh, forming here. They are giving a clear buy opportunity. They broke here. That is a buy opportunity. Very clear. Don't worry about that. Very clear. This is a buy opportunity we have seen. And we maintain our one hour SL and target will be two hour. All right. Two hour. That means two percent. All right. So uh, I think uh, you people are able to understand. Uh, do you have thank for uh, for well, uh, tomorrow? Are not coming in? No, no, I'm not coming because uh, uh, I'm not show you how we trade exactly in this market because most of the people are doing a, a very <coughs> wrong trading. They are doing wrong trading, right? All right, battery. Okay, I forget to charge my laptop. So, all right, guys, uh, thanks for giving your valuable time. So, I think uh, you are able to understand how we trade in a daily time frame, daily basis for intraday. Most of the people are using, hey, buy, uh, using by this, yeah, another, like uh, using this indicator, this indicator. All, uh, I don't think, I don't believe on uh, that type of strategy. So, we need a pop trading strategy that is called high profitable proper trading strategy so you need to apply consistently consistently that is the important thing and you just try to trade like that you just trade at least one month and after that you comes to know all right okay okay guys see you bye bye thanks uh, for your giving your valuable time and see you next webinar